The Prompter People Pro Line Plus is one of nine styles currently in their lineup, and while it's not quite the top of the line in what they offer, it's up there towards the top. The Flex Plus model shares a lot of the same features, but it's about $400 cheaper. The Pro Line Plus starts at around $1,200, and you can upgrade the 12 inch beam splitter glass, which I have here, to a maximum of 24 inches. What I have here is the 12 inch version with the iPad cradle, the freestand kit, and the 15mm rail mount kit. There are a number of ways you can mount the prompter itself, as well as your camera, which is part of the awesome flexibility and modularity of this system that lets it be used with nearly any sized camera. With the freestand kit, you can place the entire prompter onto a light stand, independent of the camera. I take my camera on and off the tripod to shoot b-roll quite often, so for me it can be faster if I have them set up separately. Plus, if I use a C-stand with wheels for the prompter, I can move it away from and back to the camera very easily. If you do want to mount the entire setup on a tripod, which is actually a really nice way to set it up, you can also do that in two different ways. One way is to attach a tripod plate to the bottom of the teleprompter itself. The spot to attach the plate can be adjusted back and forth to help you with balance if you need it. You can then easily attach the camera rail to the back of the prompter and place your camera on there with a few different heights possible, depending on the size of your camera. Combining one of these setups with the sliding glass moving up and down will let you easily get the right height for whatever size camera you use. You can attach your camera directly on the sled, which also has an extra video pin built in, and it has a nice big wheel to easily grab and tighten or loosen the screw without the need for any additional tools. You could also attach the additional height adjustment bracket here if needed, and that same large wheel that locks the whole thing in place on the rail also allows you to slide the camera backwards and forwards. It's very, very easy to use and it takes no time to set up once you get the hang of it. The second way to use this with a tripod is by using the 15 mm rail mount kit to attach the beam splitter part right onto some rods right out in front of your camera that's already mounted on a tripod. So even if this particular unit is not in your price range or if it's too big or too small or something else, I'd highly recommend taking a look at Prompter People's website because they have quite a variety and this has really, really helped me to cut down the time I need to record talking head type videos like this and the frustration that goes along with that.